What's going on, everybody? It's the YouTube Troy, aka Papa Birdo. And goddamn, do I have a good topic for you guys today. Talking about the new Storm 4 counter. And a lot of people are expecting me to just be like, oh, well, it's bad now. Oh my god, I, I fucking hate this counter. I wish it was a revolution counter. You know, they expect me to defend it. And to some extent, I'm going to do that. But not in the sense you guys are thinking. Okay? So, let me just specify by saying the Storm 4 counter is going to be amazing. Okay? A lot of people are going to are gonna come in to, to uh, Storm 4. They're going to be more inclined to buy in the game. There's going to be a lot more players uh, in the fucking game itself. I mean, just look at it now. Revolution is dead. Right? For you to find a match, you're going to wait seven fucking minutes for somebody to join. Now, let me just talk about this real quick because I feel that a lot of people just stopped even to think about the, the revolution kind of none of they heard about storm 4 but this is something i really gotta say to you guys because you guys are just uh like there's a lot of ignorance in the knowledge community when it comes to the counter okay let me just ask you this when you were playing uh storm generations how many times did you wish you would have some kind of counter against motherfuckers dashing the living shit out of you to break your guard and get you with an ultimate. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a few Storm 3 commentaries on my channel where, you know, somebody just starts the match just hammering the living fuck out of my guard with their dashes. Just going ham at it. And then when my guard breaks, they get me with an ultimate. And mind you, on the last Storm games, whether your guard was broken or not, an ultimate did 30% of your overall health, okay? That was the consequence from you not being able to, you know, counter a dash or counter somebody just, just bum rushing you the whole game, okay? That's one thing. Now the second thing, the guard break. You guys remember how long the guard break lasted on Storm 3 and Storm Generations? You could fucking, you could legit say it was like a mini version of the current counter revolution. I mean, no lie, it was almost like that. Now, let me specify another thing. How many times on Storm 3 did people pick Asuma? Let's see, um, Kirikakashi. Let's see, another one, uh, Nagato. And Neji, you know, and just went in and out of Awakening on your ass and you couldn't do shit. You couldn't do shit but maybe sub or block. And you guys know what the fuck happened when you stayed blocking. Your guard would just break and they could do anything else they wanted. They could just continue on going in and out of awakening you were fucked right so all i'm saying is this revolution counter the consequence behind it is pretty bad i, I get that the, the whole two combo thing i don't agree with it what i do agree with is that that made people be smarter okay how often do you think on storm 4 now you're gonna be thinking about how many times you should can uh you know chakra uh, dash cancel and stuff you're gonna cancel your dashes a lot more you're not gonna mash as, as much as you used to in Storm 3, right? You're not gonna match as much because you fucking know there's this thing that's gonna prevent you from doing it, right? Shit, the same goes for your opponent. You're gonna be a lot more confident because people can't just, you know, fucking just break your guard by dashing continuously. People can't just decide to go in and out of his awakening. A good example is on my latest on my latest live ranked episode, right? I used Sabusa, and as I was talking about the counter, right? Somebody, uh, the dude I was fighting, he noticed I was going in and out of awakening to just keep him there blocked. What did he do? He countered me. And I paid the price for that, right? Think about that, man. He was a smarter player because he was able to use a tactic that was, you know, advantageous for him. I mean, of course, of course another thing is going to pop up here. Another, another topic is going to pop up here now that I said that. Uh, fucking motorcycles passing by, I apologize about that. Another top is gonna pass by now, and that is, so then why do you bitch about people picking OP teams and all this stuff? It's the same way, right? And it's not, it's not the same case. I'll tell you why it's not the same case, okay? More likely than not, okay? When somebody picks an OP team, they are not uh, preventing themselves from being handicapped, okay? That's not what they're doing. Because you can pick a character that doesn't have, let's say, invincibility frames, or a fucking tilt like Itachi's, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you pick a cat that doesn't have any of those things, it's not like you're gonna be at this super vulnerable spot where you can easily just fucking lose. You're not gonna be at that spot. 
But what happens if you don't use the counter revolution is you are going to be handicapped because the other opponent automatically has the counter available to him. You don't know whether he uses it or not, but the bigger chance is he does use that counter. And if you decide not to use it too, guess what's happened? Like he's going to do the counter against you. You're going to get fucked with a combo into ultimate and GG to you. You, you just lost the match because you decided to handicap yourself, okay? Not picking an OP character, you're not handicapping yourself. This is the opposite. You're just simply deciding to not have a bigger advantage at the start of the match. That's just it, okay? It's not the same thing. Now, when people pick OP teams or OP characters, they generally are looking after a specific thing that they can exploit. So that way, the match goes a lot easier for them, and there's no real thinking behind how they win, right? Think about it. I mean, look at Minato on, what was it, was it on Storm 3 where he had the invincibility frames? I mean, ju just just look at that. He, he would fucking go awakening mode, and then he could do the, the LB, RB, or L1, R1 if you're on PS3, and throw the kunai, and then you couldn't dash at him when he threw the kunai. You couldn't do shit, right? People picked that character specifically because they, could, they knew that there was no real strategy behind winning with him. It was just simply do this, do that, and you will be set, right? Because that character had the, this OP mechanic, right? This broken mechanic that people could exploit. And I really hope that people understand that the counter from Revolution is bad in terms of, you know, you can do two combos, but the general, you know, idea behind it is actually pretty good. Storm Force counter should have been what was in Revolution, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, a lot of people would be playing Revolution now, but, you know, they fucked up, alright? They fucked up. They were implementing something new to the Storm games, and they messed up. I understand that. But now that the Storm 4 counter is there, how much you wanna bet the people that didn't play Revolution are gonna be the ones most likely affected by the counter itself on Storm 4 because they didn't get to play uh, smart, they didn't get to uh, kind of figure out the tactics behind not getting countered, right? They're most likely going to try to counter dash and, and dash out the ass and they're going to get countered and you know they're going to just be blown back. I mean on the, on the fucking demo game that you saw, right? You just get blown back, it's not a big deal. But still, that, 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 the fact that that consequence is there is what I'm trying to say, right? It's the general concept behind the counter that I'm trying to uh, communicate to you guys. And a lot of people didn't get to appreciate that. And that's kind of sad. Because on Storm 3, there was so much shit you couldn't actually do anything against. And because of the counter being implemented, you could, right? You could. But people don't fucking see that shit. Anyways, I'm, I'm glad you guys stuck out through this whole thing. If you did, thank you so much. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.